Hello there, or oh, hey, well, welcome to another trip mini series, adventure mini series. We are just about into the Pilbara, about 150 k's south of Newman, and we just stopped roadside for another leg stretch. We've had many of those, we've driven nearly 1200 kilometers just to start this one. So, we are considering this the official start because uh, the sun is going down. And you know what happens when the sun goes down. No need to explain that. So we're on our way to Newman for a bit of a top up because we've all pretty much driven here using all our long range tanks, taking full advantage of it. And Newman uh, should be cheaper fuel than anywhere in between, well, kinda, between here and Perth. So not too far to go. And once you reach Newman, as I said, we'll refuel, maybe grab some supplies, and then head to Calgan Pool, which is a really cool spot not far from Newman, and that'll be camp for tonight. Um, I'd say we'll be driving that stretch in the dark, but that's nothing different, is it? Right, so here are the people and the rigs on this trip. Hello, Harry. Hello, Wayne. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Torben. Hello, Tasha. Murray. Howdy. So you'll recognise these three trucks definitely and you'll probably recognise Harry's truck from a few trips or well, one trip in particular. Yep. And we're definitely going to run through your setup a bit later. Yep. Maybe not tonight because it'll be a bit dark. Yeah. Oh, are we, are we arriving in the dark again, Ronnie? What a surprise. <laughs> Here we go. It's already starting. Not really my fault though, is it? Should we have a little flashback oh, on your tyre here? I don't know. All right, let's go for a flashback on a tyre. <laughs> We're not even halfway to Newman and Harry's already had a blowout. At about 100, 110 k's per hour, his tyre delaminated itself. Uh, they're pretty old tyres, so that might be why. Overinflation was ruled out pretty quick. Same PSI through all tyres, so we don't know what the cause was. Not a great start. One tyre down, half a flare missing, and a nice big dent in the rear steel bar. During one of our many leg stretches along the highway, Harry suggested we pull over near the Salt Lakes just north of Mika Farah. And there's some real interesting stuff there. Oh, Off in the distance, we spotted something else, which was even more bizarre. How the hell did that get here? Phone call anyone? There are numerous ghost towns around in this area, and I suspect that that phone booth is probably from one of those. Yeah, but it's intact. Someone's yeah. put this out here as a joke. Yeah. It's got star pickets in to hold it down and everything. It goes to show you never know what you might find when you go for a walk. Before we head back to present time and start the adventure, here is a map of a section of Western Australia, this being the Pilbara, and I'll run you through the grand plan. So first we will head to Calgan Pool, that's our first night. The second night will be over at Mount Meharry, which means we have to pass through Newman again. The third day we pass through Newman, refuel, head up to Nullagine. From Nullagine we head to Running Waters, followed by a day trip to Carawan Gorge, and then we head off to the Desert Queen Baths. These are all really awesome places and there is water everywhere out here. 
More on this a bit later, but following the Queen Desert bus, we head to pool number 11, and then we hit the Talawana track to Talawana Ruins, which is our final destination of the trip. After that, we head back out to the highway and head on home. Ah yes, sundown again. What a familiar sight. It's been a long, long day on the highway. Let's hope tonight's campsite is worth it. had a near miss and that last cow God, is the last one of the herd that crossed right in front of us. <laughs> Man, that was close. Holy oh, just take that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take Did you need some this... extra toilet paper up there too? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Get off the road. Yeah. <laughs> How's that, Ronnie? <laughs> you bloody scared me! Holy How are we looking behind, Sarah? Anyone? The road train would have cleaned them all up, eh? Oh, I can see your tail light. Look at that. Hello. Apparently, the cattle up north enjoy their nightlife. As you can see, we're collecting firewood and we're doing it well and truly far away from camp. We've still got 15 k's off-road to get there. So, because we usually find that popular campsites or most of the wood's taken. So we found some good trees that were down and uh, Harry's brought the chainsaw this time.
was that? Six k's from camp. It's dark. A lot of stuff's happened today, and we're only just starting. And we got a really nice river crossing. You're probably thinking someone's a bit excited to see a puddle, but it was a long drive. But the water just kept coming, kept coming, and kept coming. Expect this much fun on the way to camp. This is epic. This is so good. And so we have arrived at camp and I'm just relaxing at my new bar. This is my new favorite part of the vehicle. So happy with how it came out. So let's talk about the lights first. Well, I'll show you the lights first. So I can change the color. And what I did last time was I had, um, I had a yellow strip and I had white strip. And the reason why I have these two different color strips is white attracts the bugs, yellow attracts less bugs. Uh, but also red, and that retains your night vision. So it probably looks a bit orange on, on video, but trust me, it's red. Um, I've got all these other colors, so you can have a bit of a party, so say. This is a bar, and my um, bar and bistro, I'll call it. So, Here I have my drawer fridge. Really freaking awesome. So, just a quick stop for a snack or even get some dip and some crackers out at night. So that's where all my, well, quick food sort of lives. And then in here, Behind here, look, I'll have to show you this tomorrow morning because it's too dark. But there's the other fridge. You can probably hear it humming right now. It's pretty noisy, actually. Um, but I have set it to freeze some food. Uh, so right now, everyone's looking at having a bath, using the buckets. Shower. shower. You using a bucket for a shower? Yeah, Hey Torbs. Hey buddy. Cooking up a storm. Cooking up a storm. Oh look at that. 
Awesome. Colourful salad. I love scotch tomato. And scotch fillet steak. Where are you doing a steak on a Coleman or? No, I'm going to do it on the um, the mesh fire cooker that Harry's bought. You're going to see a lot of fire cooking on this trip because uh, that's Harry's preferred method. Um, I do love cooking on the fire as well, but um, yeah, Harry seems to always cook on the fire, so you'll see some cool stuff he's going to do. Already tasted his steak and um, these uh, frozen potato nuggets. They were bloody beautiful. Right, Wayne. Uh, that's, uh, that's Sarah's idea. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to pretend <laughs> this is the first time I see it again. This is so freaking amazing. All right, check this out, guys. <laughs> That is so good. Oh man. Is that because you know we're going through dry communities? Yep. <laughs> wow. What mud crap. Wow. I just I feel like bro hugging you right now. <laughs> so it does it wasn't a jerry can. <laughs> it's got fuel in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's freaking amazing. Did you make that? Yeah. We went on Gumtree and we found a cherry can for 10 bucks. It was in Trindale. The woman goes, Ah, oh, this cherry can has been around Australia with us. Been to Cape And I was like, Oh, you just gave it the best lease of life. That That is the luckiest cherry can on earth. That is going to be treated like a baby. Yeah, it was so. Mobile bartender. Cheers. Cheers, mate.